Welcome so back. the vlog this week is why you need a training partner. <laughs> it's already Tuesday, so I'm a little behind, but you need a training partner first and foremost because- Is that really what it's called? That's really what it's called. Oh, ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I just started filming because I was like, oh, lighting in here is delightful. So we'll get into more of it as we get rolling through this one. So, Saturday, beautiful weather out, like 77, did a mile, ouch, by a bug, did a mile run, Gina did great, we got the little dog, just walking along, now we're gonna head back home and get on with the rest of our day, oh babe, yeah, yeah, okay bye, <laughs> all dressed up and nowhere to go, we're recording by the way, oh, well, don't put that in there. That's rude. What? I don't know. I'm like commenting on how people live their life. I just, there's a couple on the Porsche behind us and it looks like they got all gussied up to go for a drive. It's so cute. <laughs> That's fun. They're a day early. You're supposed to drive with Miss Daisy on Sunday, right? Sunday drive? That would never happen. Anyway, I just wanted to say everyone, I'm sorry that I wasn't animated earlier. I feel really bad when Kyle's going on this journey. It's not easy to record yourself, but it's also not fun when your partner isn't in the best place either. So I barely slept and I have not really said much and he wanted to include me in the video, which I love, but I felt bad that I wasn't animated. So for all the couples out there that are training together, remember to show up for your partner even when you don't want to. I planned on running three miles today and I ran a mile and a half and with a poor attitude, but I'm feeling better after because I did something and I'm with my husband and we're trying to be healthy. So keep on with your partner even when You've been up since 4 a.m. and your body hurts and you're emotionally upset. Yeah, I mean, Gina's really good at keeping me on task. Some mornings she's up and at him and I'm like, man, I don't feel like it. But she's already on the way, so it just kind of kicks me into gear. And it's nice to have Danito Doe with us. She helps out in a lot of ways that I can't even put words to. So we just thought it was important to to kind of touch on that. We hope that y'all have a support system as great as we do. Oh, babe. Yeah. Okay, bye. So not only does a training partner hold you accountable, but they also are kind of in the same boat and can relate to you better if they are doing training with you. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be the same type of training because even though Gina and I will be running on the same days and you know doing more like Metcon style workouts on the same days, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the exact same workout. Sometimes just working out within the vicinity of someone else is comforting to know that you're not doing it alone. Not only is it easier to get support from your partner, but it's also more fun, right? You can kind of go back and forth with a little bit of banter, make sure that it's not as stale as it is, you know, getting yourself to the gym, getting yourself to the track, motivating yourself, they can kind of help that with you. So some training updates, since you're gonna find out that this is kind of a weaker training video footage vlog, I guess you could say. Um, Monday went for a nice run and then did some upper body pushing like you saw in the last vlog. Tuesday uh, took a little recovery run, feet were pretty beat up from that. And then Wednesday, we did a very special workout Wednesday, and I'll link that up here, and that's for the George Floyd Memorial workout. So if you haven't done that or checked it out, I highly suggest doing that. Um, and then got a little bit of training footage from Thursday. So that's where I'm gonna leave you guys now. So it's Thursday, out of the track. This vlog's been kind of weak on the training footage because it's not really part of the theme that we're trying to get after, right? It's all about why you need a training partner. But I wanted to talk briefly about why filming's kind of been lax. It's because I've been trying to be real active in raising money for the 
NAACP, given all the riots and protests that's going on right now. So I've been more involved in that than with uh, showing you guys my running. So I did some interval work, about 17 minutes. Legs are pretty sore, but we got it done. So, whoa! Did you guys get that on film? Yeah, holy smokes. I hope you can hear it, that was crazy. Man, I was just gonna sign on to say, it's been raining like on and off the last two days like crazy. Um, and then the lightning struck. So anyways, what I was gonna say before we signed off here is not only does a training partner help keep you accountable, support you because they're kind of involved in the training, even if it's a little something different. They bring also- joy. <laughs> I have no idea what you're about to say. They bring joy and make it more fun. But last but not least, they make it motivating, right? Because when you get tired, you can just look over and see that they're still doing it. And that's motivating to me. It might not be motivating to you, but that's kind of how we do it in, the, <laughs> in this household. So I hope that you guys are able to donate to the NAACP and check out the memorial workout. I know it's kind of been like a weirder week, but I promise this upcoming week we'll get more training footage on the books. But some things took priority because this is important to me and hopefully it's important to you. So uh, stay tuned for how we warm up for running at the end of this video. And if not, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Okay, and as promised, this is how we warm up for running. So we do a little bit of dynamic stretching and then get a little running, jogging in. So first we're starting off with some heel sweeps and then we're gonna jog it back. So you plant the heel, reach down, run it back. If you wanna just continue running, just kind of pick five to 10 meters, do the stretch, and then run those uh, five to 10 meters after. Next up, we're going knee to the chest. This way we're kind of warming up the glutes, warming up the hips a little bit. We chose this lovely backdrop of trees blowing in the wind, real nice day. And we're coming back for some quad pole. So we're trying to keep the knees close together. Heel comes up to the butt, get them quads ready. Then we just do some toe walks, get the calves and ankles ready for that impact. And I should mention as we come back, we're going on the heels and the jogging it's kind of getting more intense as we get further into this warm up. So we're really nice and sweaty before we get going. We ramp it up with some leg swings, get the hamstrings rolling. Trying to keep that leg straight as you do that. And then we get some butt kickers. Then we got some high knees. We got some side shuffles, go down, come back facing the same way, and boom.